Hey everybody and welcome to Adventures with Peps. We're back. We got a cup of coffee. Thank you very much, my uh, loyal supporters. The both of you are keeping me flooded with coffee during some of these projects and I'm very much appreciative of it. Right, today, as you can see, if I can get the camera to focus, we are working on a slain Fomorian. Now, we did paint one of these back in the day. This one is actually a champion. So for this one, I actually did a black prime and a white dry brush or overbrush on it. And we're going to kick things off with Plasmatic Bolt by the Army Speed Painter. This is the way I did the Trooper a while back. So whilst I'm painting this one, I'm also going to be painting the final two Spearman Troopers. So by the end of this video, we'll have a champion with a spear plus three troopers, which will make up a little formidable group for slain to fight at some point. Now, I have done beginner's guide to Judge Dredd, done a beginner's guide now to the ABC Warriors. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to do slain next. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got the starter set all painted up, so I can definitely do that. But I want a few more figures painted up. Because if we're going to do it, we might as well do it properly, hey? So, we're going to pick out all the skin with this plasmatic bolt. I have tried a few different colours on a few different models over the past few months. There was a bit of me that was trying out the orc flesh, but I found it to be too bright, too green, too over-the-top cartoony. I even watered it down and I didn't like the look of it. I then tried one in red, one in blue, and one in purple. And I didn't like any of them. <laughs> so I am sticking to this plasmatic bolt. It's a color that I like. It looks aqua, 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 -ri, aqua marini. God knows what word I'm trying to imagine. It makes me think of swamps. It makes me think of the ocean. These guys technically are sea demons of some sort. So I think that works well. This model in particular, he doesn't have a lot of flesh, just has it in fiddly places. So I'm going to slowly work my way around, pick out the different areas, there's some bits on his knees. But in all honesty, there's not a lot to this model. Uh, looking at it, he's got a large amount of cloth, uh, some metally metallic areas, horn and skin. That is about it. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward paint job, which... Obviously, I enjoy with my speed painting, and hopefully, if I do this right, he's going to match the uh, the original model I painted. And I think this is how I'm going to do my slain figures. Uh, apart from the characters, who obviously are singles, uh, any of the group models, like um, the Fomorians with nets, the Fomorians with... What were the other ones armed with? Uh, was it Trident? Something like that. Uh, I'm going to paint them in groups and then we'll do that with the bone swords or skull swords when I get to them and then the earth tribes when I get around to them. Now I am very behind on buying my slain figures. I'm going to have to speak to Warlord Games and see if they'll do me a deal on shipping if I buy enough. <laughs> Obviously they do free shipping over 100 so I should be fine on that front. I'm going to see if I can get all the slain figures bought over the next few months and then we should have the entire collection. I also think there's some new Judge Dread coming so I'm definitely needing to save up some cash to buy in all that stuff. There must be some ABC Warriors coming and they've been hinting Judge Dread for a while now so I'm hoping that is next. Plus they got Bolt Action coming out. It's going to be an expensive year. Right, skin is on. It is dry. We are going to move on to the sand golem, which I'm going to use to represent the cloth areas on this model. So we've got his feet, his trousers, uh, we've got some sleeves, we've got this loincloth thing that he's got going on. So I'm just going to start whacking this down and block it all in. Got to be honest, these models... I don't know what it is. I was painting this model and I couldn't help but think of the goblins from uh, the labyrinth, Jim Henderson's labyrinth. 
I don't know what it is. I think it's the oversized horns and the giant helmet and the weird proportions that this guy has in particular. I don't think the line troopers make me think of them, but this model in particular just makes me think of the goblins from Labyrinth. i am really got to watch that film soon. Get some inspiration from it. Uh, let me know what you think. Am I imagining this or do we think the... Uh, the sculptor took some ideas from it. All right, this is going to take me a hot minute, so let's skip forward a little. All right, with the last few sweeps on his foot here, I think we are done with all the cloth. Uh, he is looking pretty good. We're going to grab the, I think we're going to go Grave Lord Grey next. We'll block in all the metallic areas. So. Grave Lord Grey, it's my go-to metal colour. I don't particularly like using metallic, so having this paint has been a real lifesaver. I really enjoy using it for my metal, so I'm going to use it on the spearhead. And then, of course, the helmet, the greaves, uh, his fire guards, the breastplate. Um, I think that's everything. And his shin guards. I think that's everything. So I'm just going to Carefully work my way around. Now, if you're looking at this model and you own a copy of this model, you're probably thinking, why is the spear a different way to mine? Well, the answer is I snapped mine. Well, I didn't snap it. It came broken. Um, I tried to fix it so that it would be at the other side with it pointing down to the ground, but it really would not stick back. I tried drilling and pinning a hole. There's actually a tiny hole in the end of his spear if you were to look. I did try and fix it with some putty. But um, it didn't work, so I ended up doing it on the other end. And luckily for me, that did work. So I've secured it that way. So he does look different to everyone else's version of this model. And there's nothing wrong with that. Little cheeky conversion. We can uh, declare I did it on purpose, but you all know the truth. It came broken, and that was the only way I could fix it. So this is going to take another hot minute. So while I'm going around sweeping, we'll uh, jump on forward. The next stage we're going to tackle is the horns on his helmet. So we're going to use pallid bone, and we're just going to absolutely cover it. This color is going to dry nice and light. While I'm painting it, he is a very brownish, dull colours, apart from his blue skin. I like that look, especially on the fantasy range. These aren't uh, Judge Dredd, City of the Future, bright colour plastics. I want to limit the use of reds and blues to the human tribes. I'm going to pretend that that's their war paint colours. So I'm trying to use more earthy tones. Metals are going to be grey. Their uniforms are going to be brown, the skin's bright blue, their eyes are going to be yellow. These are creatures that don't really care about standing out. Uh, I feel like the brighter colours are better on the Earth tribes because they've crushed up um, their own tattoo paint, war paints, I guess. So I want them to look bright, bold. When they're facing off against each other, they're also going to look impressive because the Earth tribes will have these wonderful bright rich colors whereas the the bad guys are gonna have the duller more muted color scheme so there you go this is how he's looking at this stage i really like this model i'm having a lot of fun we're gonna do zealot yellow so as i mentioned we're using that on the eyes purely on the eyes nowhere else so this is a stupidly quick <laughs> quick stop it's going to be splodge the brush into the paint and then splodge it onto its face. And done. Do -do -do -do. That was so quick. You will not even notice it's got yellow eyes unless you hold it up and you get really <laughs> close to the model. But I know it's there. That's the main point. We then grab the dark wood and this is going to be the last stage of the model. So I'm going to do the weapon shaft with it. And then I'm also going to cover the base because I'm going for earthy tones on this model. The base is going to be brown. i got to start making the tabletop as well. That's going to be the hard bit. That's going to be actually the part that slows down my beginner's guide to slain. 
I have to build a table. I'm probably only going to do a two by two because that's the easiest. I might even buy a battle mat and be real lazy and not have to worry about making a table. Something about making tables I like the idea of, but at the same time, I think buying a mat will be quicker and more efficient. So there you go, here is the finished model. I'll get some glamour shots done. But as always, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Drop a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you are watching this, drop an apple in the comments. I don't know why, maybe an apple and a fish to make sure you're actually listening. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers for watching. Bye-bye.